Hello everyone. Um, yes, we're back. We're streaming. Yay! And uh, apologies to everyone who ended up uh, having to uh, be scared during their gameplay by a weird heartbeat. Um, especially Minecraft players. To any of those, I can just say. Um. <laughs> um yeah. So, we're back here and playing um, uh, Grim Fandango, was the name of the game. Um, oh, but I forgot to mention, um, for those of you who were uh, who are watching on YouTube and who uh, were watching The Outer Worlds and uh, were going, You fucker, you didn't, you just stopped playing the game in the middle! Um... Yeah, for those people. Um, I actually have a good announcement, and that is that we're now... Um, uh, that I found the folder in which I saved the remaining um, uh, streams of uh, Grim, uh, of The Outer Worlds. So, um, if you were watching The Outer Worlds, um, then uh, there will be two new episodes up right now. Um, and I will continue uploading, you know, in the next days after the stream or something. So, in a week or two, you will probably have more hours of the Outer Worlds than you wanted to have. And it is uh, up to you to be disciplined and only watch one or two every week, you know, because, you know, that's how this is supposed to be consumed, right? No, no. Feel free to binge or whatever. I have recently been binging Stargate, so uh, I can't really say... Uh, well, not, not all of it. It's ten seasons, but, you know, like, a season a week or something, and that's... Uh, um, you know, I don't watch every day, so there's some days where I just go like, Okay, let's rush through half a season. Oops. And I also whack my microphone. Um, my background is getting spookier every week. <laughs> It's just trees. They're nice. They feel like home, you know? Um, yeah, um, yeah. I can change the color, so I guess that's why it might be a little speaker, spookier than before. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, right. But I think last time uh, it was the looking up at the trees, and now it's the new one with, uh, with the straight trees. Yeah, I have. I, I bought a few uh, uh, wall-hanging thingies, and... Uh, um, yeah, and I, I kind of, like, this is the one, you know, I, I like, liked the most, and the previous one uh, was the one that happened to have the shorter delivery date, and I kind of wanted a different one, either to just, like, if I wanted a different mood, or um, to have one, you know, when this one needs cleaning or something. Um, so yeah, a bit redundancy is built in. Um, we shall see. Good, um, but... You know, we have a game to play, and uh, my face is really not that interesting. So, I guess we'll uh, see what this is. Let's first see if there's anything else on screen that we can touch. No. Let's see what he has to say. These spiders have Gladys' heart in their web. It's stuck in there good. That's probably, yeah, that's the same. Uh, it's stuck in there good. It's stuck in there good. So the spider web is a bit of a. I guess most of the textures are original. I don't know, did they update the textures? But like the spider web looks really, you know, like pixely. So it really looks as if that texture they didn't they didn't redo that, which I think the, the whole game like would have benefited from. Although I guess on the other hand, you know, like spider webs are kind of like very almost invisible with like little dots of dew or something could look that way. Um, let's look at the web, I guess. These okay. spiders have Gladys' heart in their web. Okay, that's all the same item, I guess. Okay. 
It's an ugly pile of bones, like me. These are really weird spiders. Okay. And uh, I think... Oh, we have a fire extinguisher. Let's, let's check our inventory, I guess. Um... Alright, we have a fire extinguisher. Hello? Can I examine you? Am I on the wrong keyboard? Yes, I am on the wrong keyboard. Okay. Warning! Fire system, do not touch. Ooh, something has sucked the marrow out. Okay, that's one of the bones we found. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. Okay, and uh, I think what we tried last time was... We tried to use the scythe on right. the web. Okay, and, and there was just a spider that came down and uh, fixed it again. So I guess we can't really do that. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. It's also a nice detail that he's that he doesn't just say like my scythe. I like to keep it close to my heart, but rather my my scythe. I like to keep it where my heart used to be. Okay, bone scythe. What else do we have? Oh, that's all we have. They didn't leave us much, I guess, after traveling. It's interesting. Items really seem to be disappearing in this game. If we can go somewhere over there. Nope. Okay. So that's all there is of the forest. I guess we can go back to Glottis, see if he's anything to say. The vo voice of the guy is twice as loud as mine. Yeah, that's probably because I've moved things around a little bit. And I'm probably not speaking directly into the microphone anymore right now. I guess I should probably... Where's my other headset? I wonder how long he can live with that heart. Who knows, he probably doesn't even need the heart. How long he can live with that heart? <coughs> okay, um, I think um, yeah, I think that shouldn't be too bad. I think. Wait, the wrong headset out of my ear. Complicated. Professional streamer, by the way. No, I'm not. Oh, what's this? We didn't this see that. This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubakaba. Can't go there. This signpost seems to be mm. pointing the way to Rubakaba. Mm. 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 Nah, it's too well anchored. Mm. Nah, it's too well anchored. Mm. Wake up, buddy. Snoring is really loud for me, at least. Mm. Mm. I guess I can turn down the game a little bit and see if that helps. But, um, oh, where do we go if we go there? Aha! <coughs> uh -huh. Okay. There's the car. Let's see what we can know about the car. I can find out. It's a very fashionable hearse. It says bone wagon on the mm. side. <laughs> bone wagon? What it says it? bone wagon on the side. Yeah, let's see if we can. Uh... Well, I guess the snoring probably counts as voice. So it's 
just loud because I mean the sound effects are already turned down yeah it doesn't make a difference okay so I guess we can't really do anything about the snoring I can't drive that mm. thing <laughs> I left my tow truck back in my other mm. suit <laughs> I recycled that line it says bone wagon inside Hmm. Okay, hmm. so I guess start hmm. at the left and see where that leads us. And I remember I can double click to run faster. Yay! Just leave Gladys laying there. He could be dying. I don't know where that goes. <laughs> I can't just leave Gladys laying here. He could be dying. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's probably all these roots probably are for later. I can't just leave Gladys yeah. laying here. He could be dying. <laughs> oh well. I hope that there would be more stuff that we can maybe do something with. I can't just leave Gladys laying there. He could be dying. Yeah, I uh, so I, I fiddled a little with my setup and now have I swapped out two displays and did a few other things um, And so now I still have to find a way to set this all up so I can still bring the microphone around properly So it's a little bit further on the side now <laughs> um, Yeah, so I hope I'm still audible enough. I guess I can Maybe lift it up a little bit I don't know. Okay, I guess Glottis is here. Hello? I can't just leave Glottis laying there. He could be dying. Okay. I guess that's the only place I can walk to. Hmm. And the only things I have are the bone. So the question is, can I do... Let's see, I'm kind of thinking the fire extinguisher might do something. So I think I'll try the bone first. See if I can do anything with that. Soup's on. Huh? They don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. Okay, because there's no marrow in it. It's an ugly pile of bones, like me. I like to save bones for special occasions. <laughs> There's already a bone in there. Okay, and this bone probably still has no marrow in it anymore. Ooh, something has yeah. sucked the marrow out. Hmm. That's fascinating. Because, I mean, that basically means that... Uh, uh, I don't know, I, sh I would need to find it somewhere. Would I need to find marrow somewhere? But like, where do you find marrow? That's not on fire. And I can't use the fire extinguisher with anything else. That's not on fire. What happens now? Uh, it's stuck in there good. Hmm. Can I maybe... do something with the scythe?
Oh. Oh, poor spiders. No more demon hard to eat. Interesting. I mean, I was kind of not expecting this, but I guess it worked. Especially weird, since I threw the bone from this side, but then it popped away into the other direction. Mm. <laughs> ah, we have Glottis' heart again. <laughs> Still beating. Is good. Be good to heart. Don't tear out heart. Heart is good. Strong. Beating good heart. Hey, is that my car? <laughs> Mr. Lamonds, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself. Just like you personally picked her up from the land of the living? That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat your lunch? Oh, now, Hector, you can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Don. You should know I can get too mad, but not at Domino. After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! <laughs> Marigolds. <laughs> Funny. For some reason, I was expecting tulips. Well, maybe Mr. Calavera, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? I thought you'd never ask! Okay, now we know what happens when you die in the afterlife. Oh! Sorry. Oh, and now we can pick where we want to drive. Okay. Uh -huh. So I guess we'll try the left one first. Um. Wait, this, I guess we are supposed to go in this direction, maybe? What the Ooh, heck is money. this? What sort of unholy Christmas tree farm is this, Gladys? Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds cool. Anyone have an idea what that is? Did the park break off at the end of the car, or the red rock you bumped into? Um, oh, I didn't actually notice. I should this check. This forest sucks the marrow out of everything. Okay. Forest sucks the marrow out of everything. Interesting. Switches up. Ooh, careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, 
and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake her down for sure. <laughs> okay. I kind of wish there was more okay, of a puzzle just in that. Give me a second to balance these doggies. That should do it. <laughs> Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. Oh, so we need a heavier weight or something. Okay, so it's a little bit of a puzzle at least. Oh, we really have to wait for Claudius. It's also interesting that we're not sitting inside the hearse. Oh, I guess, yeah, because the casket goes in the hearse, I guess, or the dead person. Yeah, I think that's just the... But uh, we haven't gone here yet, so let's look there. Maybe there are more rocks. A low riding street rod, not a four by four. We don't have the clearance for that kind of road. Okay, so that's why we need the high lift chocks, I guess. That makes sense. Pumpkin poet redeemed stretch. Okay, let's stretch. Uh. Good point. I'm probably not sitting really straight here. <laughs> Hi, Pumpkin Poem, by the way. Not sure. It's already gone. Did I wait that long? I don't know. Ah, it's here. Okay. Always good to stretch when streaming. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for that one. Okay, so I guess we probably need to go that road. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I haven't asked anyone, how has your week been? Um... I've had a fun week, um, you know, as I said, uh, watching Stargate, rearranging stuff on the desk, that sort of thing as well. Um, I've also been thinking about doing a programming stream, but um, I kind of um, never really, um, like when I had time it was like, oh, I'm too tired, I always want to sleep or something. So uh, we'll see if I can sneak that in sometime next week or so um, because uh, I've had someone ask me how to write a parser in C++ and uh, I've done that a couple of times so that would probably be a fun little subject for a stream um, not Sunday stream by the way because I'll keep those with these games but uh, I don't know maybe maybe Wednesday or maybe just Saturday I'm, I'm still thinking about like and it depends on like when I actually feel like stream. Pumpkin, no need to apologize. We all have a life and this is just a stream, so I totally understand that you're not here. I just, uh, like I, um, apparently my bot's uh, list of viewers who are here doesn't have you in it. So uh, that's why I thought you had already left again and I had uh, forgotten your, your redeem for longer. Because the redeem actually doesn't have a timestamp on it like everything else. Um, I wrote my. F you wrote your first parser before you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I sort of did. Yeah, that's true. I just wanted to make a programming language, and I guess that's what you need. Yeah. Um, so what else can we do? What else do we have? We have a bone. We have the scythe. We have the fire extinguisher. So what if can we use the no? I guess we probably can't use the fire extinguisher with that, but who knows? That's not on fire. Can we give that 
others? That's not on fire. That's not on fire. I guess not. Let's Gladys, talk to Gladys. What are they doing to that tree? Oh, city boy! You work all day in a 60-story skyscraper, but didn't you ever wonder what it was made of? The marrow of these trees, Manny. They suck it out. It's like cement. Is that why the town's called El Maro? Huh? Never thought of that. <laughs> Maybe so. Okay, so they use marrow as cement. Oh, I guess maybe it's not, you know, technically marrow. Maybe it's just like, uh, what do you call it? Um, resin from a tree? That would make sense. Well, uh, as I said, pumpkin, no need to be sorry. It's, uh, it's fine. <laughs> I, um, it's, you know, if you have time to watch, that's great. If you enjoy it, that's great. And, uh, otherwise, you know, um, I totally understand that, you know, your life might get in the way. So no need to be sorry. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoy it when you can be here. That would make a decent go-kart. Oh, we can cart stuff around. But only this way. quite sure what's going on here what I'm supposed to do but uh, we still have some things to tinker with I guess workers are the glue that keep twitch together yes exactly it's fine I climb it myself but I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys <laughs> okay Can we maybe give him that bone No place for a bone there. Hmm. No place for a bone there. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Okay. Okay, just give me a second to balance these doggies. Oh, wait. If we turn it back on again, then we have Glottis as a weight, right? Yes. What are you doing? Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. Yeah. Whoops. That was a dirty trick, Manny. Oh, it was an accident. I bumped the switch with my elbow. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Okay, that's... Maybe... Move it sideways. I wonder what it does. Hmm. 
Has he fallen hey, any interest? While you had that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. I think. Oh, maybe I just have to do it earlier. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. Manny, you promise? Right, does that do anything? There's something down there. Separate. Maybe that's an item I haven't spotted yet. I'd climb it myself, but I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. That wheel should really be shaking the tree down, don't you think? Yes, I think. Hmm. Maybe I have to pay more attention what else there could be. That was a dirty trick, Manny. Wasn't me this time. These kids did it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he has a different excuse every time, at least. Can I, I don't know, use the scythe with the tree? Hmm. This is fascinating. I have no idea what I am doing, but I guess it's fun. I don't want to mess up my blade. All this walking just for... I don't want to mess up my blade. That's not on fire. or make Glottis heavier. Yeah, it's kind of like there there doesn't seem to be much That's not on fire. Uh back. That wheel should really be shaking the tree down, don't you think? That wheel should really be shaking the tree the down, same. don't you think? It's Glottis, I guess. I guess we can uh, run back and see if we can find anything else. Let's drive the car. Hurry up, Gladys. I can't drive down there because it's too bumpy. So I guess let's try to explore back there. Is that something? So where does that lead? <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, that's a labyrinth, I guess. Let's see where the second one leads. Always leads one further, it seems. Let's see if that connects back. Nope. Come out. That one. 
one, so let's try this one. Let's try all of them. I guess they just all lead to random locations, but I want to have tried it. copyrighted music otherwise I might be slightly in trouble for the next upload and I guess once we're done we can jump off and see if there's anything lying around here well, it doesn't really look like it <laughs> Cute. Out of the way! Out of the way! <laughs> Wait, can I exit back there? Is there maybe something I can find there? I guess not, but just in case. Telling you, Benny, we don't have the clearance for that kind of road. Not here. Wait, so if you rode into that thing, maybe it's loose now and we can pick it up and then use the signpost. We can't fit down there! This signpost seems to be pointing the way to Rubakava. Yes. Pick it up now. Ah! We can pick it up now! Okay. Not right now. Not right now. Out of the way! What the heck is he doing? And why can't he put really that thing? That. Not here. That's no way to treat the bone wagon. Not right now. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> we have a signpost, but uh, what to do with that? I don't really want to do that. Not right now. Okay, I don't know what those weird noises are, but I think I'd rather go find out in the safety of the bone wagon. So I don't know. Not here. That's no way to treat the bone wagon. Not right now. Oh, 
it actually points the way to Rubakawa. So I guess if I go down there... Maybe it will show me which entrance to use. So it will... So maybe that's the solution for the labyrinth. Yes. That looks promising. So it turns down there, I guess. Come on, at least we've solved that one, I guess. Absolutely through the maze, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. I just have to see where I planted on the ground. So I'll see which way it goes. Okay, now it pointed over there. So I guess it's maybe more here. there. What? I have no idea what you're doing. I'm missing something. Okay, let's leave that there, I guess. Maybe we need the car as well. Something. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking maybe... I somehow need the car as well, and it's kind of weird though that I couldn't like put it on the car or, or something like that. I left my tow truck back in my other suit. Yes, I meant it. So this, like, generally is a puzzle. You can't fit down there. Oh. Yes, 
maybe we should just head in that direction and see if it works. But it's hard to read what direction it's actually pointing in. Seriously. He wasn't kidding. He really loves to drive. After admit, you know, like it's an old game and things, but this is a really clunky mechanic if, if it's anywhere near what I'm supposed to do. what happens if I pick it up and put it down over there or something. Maybe I just need to find a door where it points in. Okay. It, it seems to be kind of pointing towards the middle. sure what I'm supposed to do with this. Or maybe this shows me where we will come out. But if I point it here... Let's see what happens if I drive in there, if it then points to... Nope. That's not really where it's pointing. sure yet. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cute. Back to that no good town. You can go without me. Okay. Is there anything else here? If there's no door. Can I move that cart though? Did 
This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. Hmm. Let's just leave him up there for a while and see. Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Maybe we can move the cart. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera. Manny. ones will that make it go one-sided no they just keep on going I'd climb it myself, but I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. That wheel should really be shaking the tree down, don't you think? confusing like like suck the marrow out kind of sounds like it might be related to this although I guess it's the insects can I use it no I think I, I just tried that didn't I like if I could attract the insects to no here somehow Place for a bone there. No place for a bone there. Hmm. I like to save bones for special occasions. That was a dirty trick, Manny. I don't know how that happened, but I think it was an electrical short. Oh, okay. points of the directions mm. yeah I'm not not that desperate yet <laughs> it it doesn't seem like this game would necessarily be the kind to, to work this way I think it's more that this game is kind of imprecise in some ways, maybe. I'm 
Sure, it helps the handling, but did he have to make it so low to the ground? Spiders. Maybe there's something there. I'm not getting my hands tangled up in that. That's not something to the left. It looked like there was a rock or something. One bone, two bone. Uh, three bones now and a scythe. Imagine that. Owls? Oh, I guess that was the hot spot for the web. I guess that's where the heart was, right? What can they catch in that? Owls? Demon hearts, maybe. Who knows? be a problem. Now the sign is gone. Anyone still see it? Here, yeah. Okay, thank you. Ooh, I was I was scared that there would be a a bug and the sign would be completely gone. You know, like they they despawned it here, but forgot to respawn it at the original location. Let's see what happens if we walk a little bit down and plant it here. Somewhere there. I mean, it does kind of look like maybe it's trying to triangulate something. So let's see, we have this line. Let's go here and place it here. Now it should be pointing up. Yeah, okay. So this line, so somewhere here ish, I guess. Ooh. 
Something happens. Loteria. <laughs> Loteria. Oh well, I should remember that. That's like malaka. <laughs> it's a it's a phrase that's so useful. I guess we need the car for that. Oh no, we can actually go down here. Interesting. Loteria. Jackpot. It looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart bone by bone and build with you a human throne. Their bucktooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Oh, okay. So I guess we'll take that key. Yeah, it's his way of saying jackpot, exactly. Loteria. Jesus, run. Seriously? I can't interrupt it to make him run. Can't pass up an old creepy key. Um, that was an interesting bug. That he picked it up over there and not here. That doesn't look like the gates of hell to me. I guess I put that in our pocket. Yes. Oh, there's a path down there. Hmm. Scary sounds. A door. The glottis is here too. Many. What are you doing? Hey, don't sneak up on me like that. Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny? They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. Okay. Demon beavers. That use bones to build dams. Okay. Oh, what's this? There's a big old padlock on this outer gate. Oh, so that's what the key is for, I guess. So... Let's use that key here. With those monsters on the other side, I'm happy with this thing locked. Okay, so I guess we'll have to get rid of the beavers first and then drive the car through. I kind of hoped that the car would be part of the puzzle. Oh, they're not nice to me. All right, I guess that's all here. Can I go back that in It doesn't there? look like the gates of hell to me. That doesn't look like the gates of hell to me. So what do you do with team? Oh, that's not on fire. Of course. It's not on fire. How did I walk back? But 
that generally seems to be working. So I guess... We just have to get them all. Ah, okay. When one would catch us. What? Damn it. I was so close. It almost worked. <laughs> so I guess I have to put the, the fire off of all of them out. Probably without them running away. road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. Plus, how could I leave without... One. One left. Hey! What? I was pointing right at them. Burning snowman, kind of like that. That's not on fire. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Can I walk? Oh, what is this way? get them all to stop being on fire and they go to each other to light themselves back up again I want to put out your lights my friends How do I get that last one? My name's Manny Calavera, and I'm your new travel agent. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's what they're doing. They're going back to each other to set each other back on fire. So I somehow need to get them all. Before... I don't know. Do they that's start... That's not on fire. Do they start out together? Yeah, they all do. No, there's one back there. do I get them all to oh I have a bone right or several so maybe if I use the bone I'll just drop this one I'm carrying around too many of those already sure how I'm supposed to do this if there's some other trick hmm but uh, you know it seems like the right start or maybe we can use the key now because we know now how it works and then we can drive through with the car let's see if he will let us open With those the door. monsters on the other side I'm happy with this thing locked hmm or maybe I can get Glottis to uh, modify the car Something has to be possible. It has to be, please. Controls are really amazing, but I wish they made it out auto run. Or can I maybe shift click? Oh yeah, it seems like that doesn't look like the gates of hell to me. It seems like using holding shift might make it go faster. Okay. for the bone wagon okay we can't take the car here <laughs> 
Come on. Sit down. Okay. Now he drives out again. This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. Can I give him... Wait, we haven't tried giving him a bone, have we? Oh, no I think place we for a bone there. I like to save bones for special occasions. That's not on fire. You can't give him that thing either. Hmm. Can we hey, turn it while on you have off? that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. I don't think it will let us do anything while he's up there and once Now no monkey business this time, Caleb. The switch is down. That should do Still not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. Hmm. Hi Lucius, hey, how's it going? You had that How was your week? Try moving those weights around some more. So the only thing that's different is that now that he's no longer here, we can now, move. No monkey business this time, Calavera! Let's see if we can at least move the cart. Back, I guess. I don't want to drive this thing all over the forest. You will once I get that two-stroke in there. <laughs> a dirty trick, Manny. I wasn't even near that switch. Oh, okay. Hmm. You're on the line to vote. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I guess it's, it's good that you're doing this. Um, it's bad that, uh, the voting booth have been reduced or whatever in, in such a way that you uh, have to stand in line to get in there. Seriously. But yeah. Congrats on doing your democratic duty. And I know he said duty. <laughs> um. All right. What can we do here? That's the big question. It seems like we have to make Glottis heavier or... 
unbalanced in his weight or something. I don't think he will talk about anything with us, will he? This place gives me the creeps. I'm ready to go when you are. tomorrow since you don't have to go to work of course that's that's good if you have that luxury um, it's like in general you know there's many people who just can't afford to take one day out to you know from work and just stand in a queue so it's it's really weird do you have these queues What could I do here? Has disappeared. That looks like a bug. Wait, is there anywhere else here where I can go? No. So maybe I just have to try harder with those fiery beasties. Them. Hey, what? He's putting right of him, left of him, but not at him. Hmm. I wonder if I should just try to chase them. That's not on fire. Yes, I know it's not on fire. It's just a bad UI. That way. That road leads out of the forest. Plus, how could I leave? Either it's a horribly clunky UI where you know like I can't like I, the aiming you know granularity is not enough and I keep 
you know, being too close so that it's right in my, you know, in my dead spot. Either it's that, or there's something missing, you know, like a an attachment to the to the thing. But then I can't. You can't combine items in this game, so it's kind of weird. And I can't go back there. Like it won't let me past the end of the bridge, so I can't go down left. And if I go left in the other spot... Then the other guy goes up there. Uh, wait. One, two, two, come on. On. Maybe use this. I might have to resort to actually trying to go to a walkthrough and seeing what I'm supposed to do here or what I'm supposed to do next. Because I'm really stuck here. Do we have any other spot? Glottis won't keep driving, he won't use the key. Uh, let's go back there before I check um Okay. And now do the desperate thing. And uh Grim Fandango. Walk through and see. What they will do. And of course I have to tell them not to track me again. Okay. And of course they have like five million big things so I'd get half of my screen to use. Farm, petrified forest, maze, demon beaver. So I guess we'll click tree farm and see if it says anything. Okay, so I had the right idea. You need to use the wheelbarrow to pinch the cables that link the tree to the machine. Okay, so I guess I'll go back there and try that. And see if that works. shift means he'll actually run fast before he'll slowly and methodically will climb the vehicle 
And then it will take a while and finally we can get out. Okay. Okay, so let's futz around with the wheelbarrow a little more, I guess. Let me try moving those weights around some more. Now, no monkey. Okay, monkey business started. Man. Now I guess. Okay, it changes. I guess it, the problem was I thought it would. Ah, okay, now the first one is stopped when the wheel is over it. So I have to get the, the top right one turns right before the left one is. So I have to go down, I guess. which is exactly the opposite of what I wanted. I wanted to get the two left ones to trigger at the same time. But it takes so long to trigger. The last one doesn't trigger anymore. Well, the second one doesn't trigger anymore. Now those two are at the same time, that's good. problem is that I ride over the other one when the two right ones trigger at the same time. Okay. And now I have to make, move those two in the same This is really finicky. Whee! Oh, 
I think now it works. Okay, that was accident. But hey. Yay! That was more luck than strategy. This is very, very easy to get wrong. Now we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on we soar. Like eagles. <laughs> like eagles on pogo sticks! <laughs> What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. <laughs> or are you afraid of heights? Low rider. Okay, let's first see what we can do over there then. Oh, okay, that's just how we get there. Okay. So I guess the car cannot go downstairs? Come on, Gladys. Let's crash through this gate and drive right over those little monsters. Mm, no way, Manny. Oh, those flaming bone beavers are mean. They bite, they claw, and if one of them wrapped around my drive shaft, I'd be picking flaming hunks of fur out of my U joint for months. I'm not going down there until you get rid of them. So let's see if that crazy road is just not passable and that's why we need this way oh I can actually drive along here as well okay that's good We end up in the same spot. So why... Why are there two paths to the same spot? Can we attach the fire... Extinguisher to the car somehow? That's not on fire. That's not on fire. Hmm. Okay, we got a little further, but sadly not much. Okay, okay, okay. So what did we pick up there? I don't need any more. I'm practically made of them. We got bones. Ooh, 
Something has sucked the marrow out. Ooh, something okay, that's has just the more bones. Out. Okay. Okay, so I guess there was a second hint that it gave me to go down here, which we've been. I like to save bones for special occasions. Okay, that doesn't work. I guess let's look again. I tried not to read too much because uh, I don't want to spoil myself with things I could figure out myself. I just want the next hint. Okay, green marker, that's it. I collected three bones, walked down the path. Left of the bridge. Okay, so I ah I I use them here, not at the front. And now where's my fire extinguisher? or not I don't think it worked it seemed way too unsuccessful select I guess. Okay, so I guess that's what I'm doing. It seems rather arbitrary, really. Okay, and I guess they drown in that river. What is this river, anyway? Can I... Can I look at that? This river seems to be made of tar, but those beavers just seem to cut through it like water. Okay, so the idea is, I guess, because you're on fire, you can just go through tar. But if you're... If I put you out right as you land, then you'll be stuck in it. That's a horrible way to die. <gasps> what are we doing? Wait, I think I have more bones right there. Thank goodness. Thank God the beavers are so slow because uh, because otherwise I would be really um, annoyed by this. And now there's no new beaver coming up, so I guess yeah, the bridge is free. That's good, I guess. It's interesting. There's no other the, the beaver back there. Like I think there were always like four or something beavers. There was one burning back there, but I guess we're good now. Wait, okay. First, use the key. But I guess we... Out of the way! We used everything now. Oh, hi, Silencer, Delphi, how's it going? How are you doing? Um, didn't see you come in there. How's your week been?
All right, uh, I have the key. Use the key. This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. You're dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, Manny. <laughs> I don't think I like driving over people. Hello? Miss Colomar! We're here to save you! Hey, lay off the racket, the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race! When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town! <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. You're good. Week sucks, though. Silencer is hurt, so he's bored at home because he can't go to work. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Best wishes, Silencer. Um, how have I been? Pretty good, yeah. I mean, you know, working from home is kind of... Uh, um... I kind of miss the office a little bit, you know, the colleagues, things like that. But, you know, I have the option of working at home instead of, you know, not having work or anything, so that's good. Um, I've tinkered a lot with my streaming setup and, like, moved around displays and things like that. So that works as well. I actually have the PlayStation right in front of me right now, so I could actually resume streaming a PlayStation game. Although then I'd have to hook in the game capture again but I can do that as well so yeah doing pretty well um, I also uh, hung up nice backgrounds so uh, that doesn't look quite as uh, boring anymore um, <laughs> so uh, yeah doing pretty well um, and yeah playing Grim Fandango and looking forward to uh, you know lots of games that come out in November so that's there. Um, apart from that, anything else interesting happen? Not really. D uh, reading a lot of uh, Stargate spin-off books and re-watching the Stargate TV series. That's about it. So, so doing all the lazy at home stuff that you can do best right now, um, which is, you know, nice to have that option. Um, but hey, yeah, that's it. Um, from me right now. And also, I, I didn't use many vacation days at the start of the month, uh, of the year. Um, so now I've uh, scheduled, like, all my vacation days for, um, like, in the, basically I have all my vacation days, days in the second half of the year. Um, which, you know, is, is kind of nice because it means like I have like a, a week or so almost every month until the end of the year where I, uh, uh, where I have off and can, can relax again. So that's nice. Um, for that, you haven't been able to watch when you see me on working six days a week sucks, but you get to see for a little today. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm. I only stream a little bit um, on Sundays right now, not the rest of the week. So, um, and I mean, you know, like I know, you know, life is, you know, takes priority. Streams are fun, and not everyone has a job where they can watch streams on the side. Um, so, uh, totally understand that. But of course, I wish you didn't have to work as much. Um, so, uh, but good. Summer, you also have to practically take off one week per month in the second half. Same here. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of, you know, like at the beginning of the year, I was still kind of, since I started this new job in December, so I had already taken all my vacation days from the previous job, of course, before December. And then for Christmas, I kind of had to 
take more vacation days per month than I really have. I mean, you you know, you kind of legally you get all your vacation days for the year at the start of the year and can just use them if you wanted to. But um, of course, like if you you know like left a job again or something, then they would you know you know like back it would kind of i guess be deducted from your pay or something that you because you worked fewer days if you took more vacation days than than is like as a percentage of the total time you were at the company um warranted um so i kind of like had a sort of quote unquote backlog more in my head than really legally and i mean i didn't have plans to leave this job but you never know but i kind of don't want to take many vacation days in advance um and so that's why um like the first half of the year i went okay i have to you know get back from this backlog i can't take vacation and then there was you know lockdown working from home that kind of thing where i just ended up you know um where i ended up uh not really uh uh you know like taking vacation because it was you know like i'm not going anywhere so i didn't have any reasons to take days off and i didn't have the commute so there was actually a little more time to do you know other stuff that i wanted and so um you kind of accumulate these vacation days and then like someone from work, uh, uh, the, the the colleague who who looks at all that, um, you, you know that all of that uh, stuff is done the right way, and things said, hey, uh, you have a lot of vacation days, don't you want to take them? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I probably should. And then I just went, okay, let's see. Um, and and so I asked like, how many days do I have left? And then I went, okay, let's first do end of the year, so like New Year's and Christmas, so that I know that I have those days. Um, because like everyone takes those off. So even if I kept working, you know, no colleagues would be there and I would have, you know, like problems if I have questions or something. So it doesn't really make sense to not take those days off. So I took those days off and then went backwards and went like, okay, where else can I go? And so I went, okay, yeah, like, let's make sure that, you know, around Halloween, if I want to stream or, you know, something, um, around that time or watch streams until late in the night or whatever that's pretty much all i can do these days um like party wise um or you know have a virtual party with friends like over over skype or whatever um then uh you know i want like the days after that uh, i want those off so i i don't have to go oh yeah but monday i'll have to be at work again um so I took that one off and then there was like, you know, different other occasions where I went, okay, yeah, this is the week where usually I would have a conference that I help organize, um, but we're not doing that this year, of course. Um, and so I went, well, let's take off around that time as well, because, you know, it's, uh, I would usually take off around that time. And then, of course, my birthday and things like that. And so at the end, I had a it was basically like almost every month there was a reason to take off for a week or two. I think it's mostly single weeks and like Christmas and around my birthday is like two weeks or something like that. But uh, um, Something like that. It's nice we have that many vacation days in Germany. Um, you have a week of vacation, but you don't know how you're going to take it. Only three people in your department. Yeah. I don't know. Like, you know, usually I would like like the the ethical answer, so to say, to it is, well, um, of course, you will talk to the other uh, people in the in the job and say, hey, I'm taking off around this time. Make sure that you have a backup plan for me. But um, of course, the the other hand is uh, like if if they go well, you know how um, how are you going to like how are we going to replace you? Then well, you know at some point you just have to go and say well, that's your problem. I need a vacation at least once, you know. 
So so did you did you start the the job that recently that you only have a week of vacation or is it actually legal to have uh, only one week of vacation in year or did you take some vacation earlier for like moving and stuff and that's why you only have one left or, or how's that going that's a little, a little confusing to me like in general I would expect you know I know that the US have like in the US one advantage the US has is um, in the US the holidays are around weekends so it's like the so manyth weekend in the month is that holiday and you get like the the monday before off or the uh, the friday before off or the monday after i think something like that so you never lose a holiday whereas in germany most holidays are on a specific date and if that date happens to be a sunday well then you get a day off that you would have any off anyway you know um And usually, you know, if you're in a job where you would be working on Sundays, then very likely, you know, you would still work that day. So it doesn't make a difference. So we have many more holidays, um, public holidays every year, but a bunch of them, you know, just disappear. At least I got some game time. Oh, hi, Garish. How's it going? Um, uh, Garish had a great stream. Oh, by the way, I should... Uh, be nice here and uh, shout out all our streamers oh and you were playing monster monster hunter world recently nice monster hunter world is a really uh, a really gorgeous game like it's not like the gameplay loop isn't really something that interests me it feels you know like it's basically repeating catching animals or something so it's It's uh, not the kind of game I would play, but it, it looks really well made and, and really pretty. And, and the monsters and the especially those uh, cat companions that you get, they look really interesting. Um, it's the drop you got when you move to Silencer. So one week when you hit to the year. Okay. And they're just over a year. So yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. And uh, also we should shout out Garish Lee, who I've seen today stream uh, Garish to Twitch Sings, exactly. And uh, yeah, so with some really nice nice singing going on there. Thank you for that again. Um, so yeah, there's that. Pelicos, yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, they're adorable. They're really cute. In, in Monster Hunter World, the, the cat uh, pets. Um, yeah, it's so much fun. Good, good. Yeah, it, I mean, you know, it shows when people are having fun. So it was definitely, uh, I definitely saw that in the stream. Um, so you work in a grocery store, so holidays don't matter. Uh, yeah, that's, that's of course different in the US. In, in Germany, grocery stores are usually um, um, like open weekdays and usually like at least half of Saturday the larger ones and like the big supermarkets or something um, might be like the whole day which is usually I think it's like 9 to 8 p.m. here in Bavaria in other parts of Germany, you can actually go to them until I think like 10 in the evening. Um, so, but Bavaria is kind of the most uh, conservative state when it comes to uh, uh, opening hours. Um, so, but, but like you have that here uh, in, in restaurants, those are usually open on Sundays, but most restaurants have um, have Mondays off instead. Because, you know, like people, of course, Saturday, Sunday, that's like where people, you know, celebrate stuff. So that's where they want to go to restaurants. But of course, restaurant employees also need time off. Um, so, uh, so that's a little bit different between countries. Um, 
which I, um, yeah, it's interesting. Like I found it uh, when I was uh, in San Francisco for uh, a conference that I did for a while, basically every year. Um, it was always interesting, you know, to be able to just in the evening when you say, uh, uh, I'm, I'm tired, um, uh, I'm hungry or whatever, I want, uh, you know, like potato chips or something. You could just go, you know, like downstairs across the street into the corner store and just grab a bag of chips and go back up into the hotel, you know, at like middle of the night if you wanted to. And, you know, if you were jet lagged, like I often was, then you were often, you know, still awake in the middle of the night. Um, you're open 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. You're there until 11.30. And you have to be back at 6.30 a.m. tomorrow. Ugh, yeah, that's, uh, doesn't sound like fun. 11.30 to 6.30. How many hours is that? That's half an hour. Well, it's just about eight hours between shifts. I'm, I'm trying to remember if that would even... Like, I guess maybe you don't... Well, if you're basically there every day, then... Uh, that would just be eight hours between shifts. That doesn't sound like fun. Wait, no. Six, thirty, eleven... It's half uh, seven hours between shifts. I'm, I don't remember. Like I did a little bit of like I did the easier shifts when I did my social service, um, and here in Germany that was regulated so that there was a minimum number of hours that had to be between the end of your previous shift and the start of your next one. So they, you know, obviously they couldn't do, hey, have this person do the night shift and the morning shift or something because that would just connect. And basically the idea was, I think, you know, they should be able to get a full night's sleep in between at the least. Um, and usually that was, you know, usually you had like one week or, or two weeks or something, only the morning shift, like repeatedly. So you had basically like, you know, 16 hours or whatever the difference is um, between um, or 14 or 15 hours or something, yeah, um, between you know, each shift, which was nice, but of course come shift change um, they had to like, basically, if you had done the night shift, then they couldn't switch you from night to morning, unless there was an entire day in between so what usually happened was, you know, like if you did night shift, then you would go to evening shift. And then after a week or something of evening shift, they would switch you to the morning shift. Um, seven hours. And it's supposed to be at least eight hours between shift, but they don't care. That's interesting. Yeah, they did that to you last week and you got them to fix it. You guess to punish you, they did it again where I wouldn't have time to get it fixed. That's like, like why, how... How does that, like, can't you, like, talk to the Better Business Bureau or something? It, it seems like, it, it seems like such an abusive, you know, situation. That's horrible. And, I mean, in Germany, I don't think you'd be, like, you'd get away with it. Because, like, every, like, workers' rights are pretty strong here. So every other employee in the in the company would basically be up in arms as well. So uh, there's few companies that actually do it. I guess it, you know, it must happen because it always happens. But from from what I know, the the, you know, the fines and things are really strict, and things like that. Um, but yeah, that that sounds like a really bad situation. I hope you can somehow get that resolved. Whether it is, you know, by you know, uh, convincing them to not do that stuff to you or whether it is, uh, you know, by changing jobs, uh, you know, if you find a better one, that would be nice. Um, but that really sounds like a bad situation. <laughs> You'd have to go to the union who seem to be useless here, especially since I've been in the union a year and they have yet to give me any way to contact them. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. 
I guess you could probably just, you know, just for now neutrally put out feelers and go like, hey, uh, what's my union? How can I even contact them? Um, you know, I mean, you know, just finding out if they're even there or, or what's going on. Uh, you know, because that might be something you can do without the the company actually hearing about it too much. Um, because, of course, that's a problem. If they hear, oh, she's talking to the union, then maybe they go, okay, she doesn't want to to let us abuse her, so we better find a phony reason to kick her out again um, and find someone who will let th let themselves be abused. Uh, so that's, that's always a bad thing about these situations and why you have unions is because your livelihood depends on those companies, and that's, yeah, it's horrible. I'm sorry that you have to go through this, and I hope you can get some way to resolve this. But so at least I'm I'm consoled that it's not legal in the US either. That's at least good to hear. Because it's always, you know, like there, there's always some surprises with some countries where it's like, well, if the employee consents to it in the, you know, like with, with a little clause somewhere in the fine print of the of the contract or whatever, they can say, "Hey, we uh, uh, by taking this job, you agree to to not exercise your right for sleep between shifts, you know, kind of like that. And then, of course, uh, in some countries that works, and then you're screwed. Um, whereas in some countries, it's just, no, this is unsafe for, you know, like for the customers or whatever, and uh, the government doesn't want to co pay health insurance for uh you know employees who fall off the ladder because they're tired or whatever and so we just won't let you call in an employee after less than eight hours or something um so often it's it's uh, like like in some countries it's at least you know an enlightened self-interest on the side of the government that prevents things like that from happening most people don't know and are afraid to get fired, so they don't say anything. Yeah, exactly. It's. I mean, even you know, like there are things um, that you know, there were situations in jobs where I knew that that's not really um, how it's supposed to go, and things, and I didn't really. It wasn't anything like this. This strong or illegal in my case, but um, um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So, um, but I've had situations where I was like, well, I'm not really gonna complain about that aspect, um, you know, um because I don't know how they'd react and maybe they'd fire me. And I'm, I'm in a pretty good situation. I would probably find a job afterwards again, even if I got fired. But uh, it's kind of the, the a weird, um, you know, you, you have to get over, you, you know, like it, it takes a lot of effort to actually fight something like that. And, and with, you know, your livelihood in the balance, sometimes you're going to say, well, if it doesn't too often, I can. It doesn't happen too often. I can bear it, and that's of course what they count on. That uh, they can get you to do it just as much as you want, and that way, you know, they don't need that extra employee. Need to, and and they save a lot of money every year. You know, like you're saving them. I don't know what a what a year's salary would be, but um, you know, just by if if you can get each. Of your employees give up one hour on a shift change so you don't need another employee to cover that shift then suddenly um you know then then maybe you can save an entire employee over the year um who would usually be in these spots and do work because others just wouldn't be available because they would have time off Sucks when we have to worry about things like that. Yeah, it's it's not as if you had enough troubles to worry about already. You've got a list going, though. Union is going to hate you for making them do some serious work. So that's always good. Yeah, when, when things like that happen, I guess that's the best thing you can do. Keep a list 
and if you have like any you know proof like if it's you know copies of the work schedule they sent you or something marked with like hey i got this schedule the day before and i had no way of saying no i can't can't do this or whatever things like that um then at least you know you can document it clearly and um you know have have a good counter argument that's that's a, a, a smart way of doing it um yeah hmm. oh it's seven already so um i hope you'll all still be there i'll take a short five minute break Time to, you know, to drink, get up, stretch, things like that. Um, and then we'll find out what this new city is.